Are they all one family? These ones here? Yeah. Yeah, this is different different pods, different okay. pods, different families from it that have just moved in because of scarcity of areas or territories. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's the problem with the males, that's the problem. But the females they happily allowed in anyway. Yeah. But the males would have to yeah either fight or behave submissively towards whoever is in charge. Church. But there's always some tension, there's always a little yes. push at the end about every time you, you hear these sounds at night, it's all happening here. Right. So there's these stories of people who's killing more people than any other animal in Africa, right? Yes. Um, I don't know. I'll put the two, I wouldn't say just one. I don't, between them and the prophet. Mm -hmm. I'll put them together. So basically these two animals kill more people than any other. I think it's a little hard to really go with statistics of how each one is more than the other. Because okay, some incidents, most of them are not reported. Most of them uh, nobody knows about them. So True. you cannot really be sure. How many poachers go out on their own and never come back? Who never, nobody knows what killed them. Um, or just people in the village going to fetch water and nobody really knows um, what took them. They just disappear in the water. Okay, you assume crocodiles, but maybe they're still by hippo. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really difficult. Uh, Who's the uh, most dangerous, should you say, they kill more people than anything else in Africa? It's a scary beast, eh? Oh yeah. Um, they, they get to the top of the half to the um, Yeah. So that's a heavy. And imagine that weight, two times the size of the truck I'm driving. Um, it charges at you. At, uh, look at that coming. Is it going all the way? And the yeah. end there. Come on, come on all the way. Come on. Yeah. Here we go. There's one here. Come on all the way. Um, it, imagine that coming, charging at you at a uh, 35 kilometers per hour. <laughs> and this massive jaw open like this, and his size is pointing out, and kind of is um, mm. one bite good enough for you to cut you into two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, for sure. You can imagine the victims of these attacks. Um, basically, people in the rural area. And mm. fishermen with canoes and things like that. Not many cases of tourists, maybe in even busy. Imagine this was a river system and you're coming down slowly looking for the fish, you're going to kind of come around oh, this bend and find this. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's trouble here. Yeah? And mainly these people in the rural areas, they still basically depend on um, nature for water, firewood, and things mm. like that. So they need to get out from the village and walk out either into river systems or lakes nice. or into the forest to get firewood and, and the like. And they would definitely most of the times use hippo paths mm. because it's already defined and established. Yeah. It's easier to find your way or negotiate your way through the uh, forest or to the water because you know hippos definitely would lead to water. Um, but then that's when the problem comes. The right time to go through this path. And um, you don't want to be there in the morning um, or in the evening because they're coming out or they're going back. And that's the time when people have chances to go out look for water early in the morning yes. or in or the, the evening. So it's, there's there's always that chance of encountering the people in the path, bumping to one another. And when you get these fishermen with their little canoes just up and down the lakes or the rivers, they also get a uh, full victim. And again, when I say the people in the rural areas, most of them would have lack of knowledge, you say, of people behavior and how to, uh, to, to behave with people, you know, how to